This video is part two of two that show you how to convert GroupWise addresses to Outlook contacts. It begins with address books that you have exported from GroupWise in .nab format. Part one may be found at the URL shown. Start by opening the old contacts folder on your desktop or wherever you place the folder with your exported address books. In this folder you will find any and all address books that you have placed here with a .nab extension. We need to change the NAB to a CSV before we can proceed into Outlook. Right click on the first name, in this case would be Export NAB. Go down the list till you see Rename down here toward the bottom. Select that. Go to the end. I hit a right arrow to get it to go to the end. Backspace over the NAB and I change it to CSV. Click out in the open space. It asks if I want to change the file extension. There's a warning it may be unstable. Yes, I want to change it. Next one, external partners, rename, backspace, CSV, enter, enter. Partners, NAB, down to rename, backspace, CSV, enter, enter. And finally, weekly partners meeting, NAB, changes to CSV, enter, enter. And you are done. We now have your old contacts done and we are ready to open Outlook. Once you're in Outlook, go to the lower left corner of your screen and click on the Contacts tab. Once you've clicked on the Contacts tab, you will notice that the screen has changed slightly. And in the upper left, you will show My Contacts. The different address books that you have formed that you are wanting to import, you can import all of them just directly into Contacts, or you can create separate folders or groups to keep them separate as you have them now, which would be suggested if you've taken the time to separate them into individual groups. What you want to do is point to Contacts, right up here at the upper left, right click and say new folder. The new folder box that comes up allows you to create a name for this. You will want to call these folders the same names that you have on your other ones or if you abbreviated before just for transport say that you had GW export here you might want to expand that out so that groupwise exports would be something you might want to call here imports from groupwise in this case I'm just going to call them the same thing so I'll type in the name export. I want this in my contacts folder so I'm going to select contacts as to where to place it and OK. I want to do another one. Again I will go to contacts, right click, new folder, where it asks me for new folder I will do another one of my exported book names, external partners. I'm telling it that I want that in contacts and I click OK. And I continue this for each of my address books until I have them listed all over here, export external partners and le weekly review meeting. So once you have your folders over here, your new address books or groups, to go up to File, left click on File. Once File opens, come down to Open, left click, over to Import. In the Import Export Wizard box that opens, choose Import from another file or program, the default. Click Next. The next screen, choose Comma Separated Values Windows, the third option down. Click Next. Find the files that you want to bring in, in other words, the address books that you exported from GroupWise. If you created a folder on your desktop called Old Contacts, that's where you would go. You would click Browse. You'd go and find that folder wherever it is or whatever it is. Click on each of these folders in turn. I'm just going to do them in alphabetical order, so I'll start with the Export, CSV. Click OK. You can leave this with Allow Duplicates or you can replace duplicates. As long as you have separate email address books or groups that you have created, any duplicates would not be there. They're going to be in separate groups. So it doesn't really matter what you set here. If you're bringing everything from separate groups into a single group, you might want to change to replace duplicates with items imported, especially if you're sure you have a single correct address in there. Click Next. When you come into this piece, this screen is asking where you want to put the book or the group that you are bringing in. Since we created separate address books and want to keep them that way, the folders and groups that we had already created are already here. This is the one that we have for exports. You click on exports and click the next button. The next screen that comes up, the first time you open it, will not have a check in this box. Instead, you will open to a box that looks like this. Everything on the left column are all of the items and parts of your address book from GroupWise. Everything in the right column are all the parts and items from your Outlook calendar. 
you'll notice that they're in different orders and the computer cannot tell that name over here because it has a number in front of it is the same as name over here. Also in Outlook you'll notice that there are pluses. Things are grouped more in Outlook and they also combine into groups. Left click on the plus next to name and you'll see that name also includes title, first name, middle name, last name, and suffix. Open the name one. On the left side find first name just down slightly. Left click on first name while you hold the key down drag it over to first name on the right. Last name, left click on last name, drag it over to the last name on the right. If you only ever put names and email addresses in your address book and group wise, then the only other thing that you need to move would be email address on the left side. Go fairly far down on the right side to find the email categories. You'll see down here we have email click plus by the first one. Grab email address, pull it over to email address, and if all you ever had was name and email address, you're done. If on the other hand in GroupWise you use this as an address book or more of a little Rolodex so that you had company names, you had business addresses, business phone numbers, all of those things, you'll need to go through this list on the left and drag each of those things from left to right. That is your choice. You can bring as much as you want. If you go on down the left side in GroupWise you'll see that there's an organization. Organization is what is actually company on the Outlook side. That's the only thing that you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Otherwise you should be able to match everything from the left side to something on the right side. If it's a piece of information you never used, don't worry about it. The only things you need to move over are the things that you would have completed. Again, if all you ever did was name and email address, that's all you need to do and you're done. Click on OK after you've mapped all of those things or moved all of those things across. One special note, if you are doing multiple address books and some of them do have that extra information, go on and drag that information across this time because this is the only time you will have to do this. For each of your subsequent address books or groups that you bring into Outlook, it will all automatically be mapped or coordinated between what was in GroupWise and what is in Outlook. So if you have any other groups that have any of this information, do it all right the first time and then you won't have to do it any subsequent time. When you're done with that, you click OK. It verifies that we're importing our export file into our folder export and you click finish. You'll see a window pop up that shows that things were imported and there they are. If we go over to export, we can click on export and it shows us all the addresses that we've brought in. Since we only had name and email address, that's what shows up. The default in much of Outlook 2010 is this business card size. You can control that at the top. You also have a card option. The list that you probably will want to use are the phone list or the list list. The only difference between them is the order of columns. On the phone list, it actually does have business phone and business fax. In either case, it's much easier to look down a list like this to choose things than that large business card piece. That's all that it takes. If you have others that you need to do, if you have other books, you go back and just repeat the same thing. File, open, import. This screen will be the same. Import from another program or file. Click next. This one you change to comma separated values windows. Click next. You go back to browse in your folder. We'll pick up the next one, external partners. We'll say OK. We allow duplicates to be created. So our file name is changed to old contacts external partners. We allow duplicates to be created because it's a separate book. We go to next. We choose where we want it to go. External partners is going into external partners. Next, this is already done. You click finish and it brings them in. Do this for each of your other books. After you've done all of your books, you have them all here. You can see that they're all to the side. External partners, again, it brings them in as this large business card size. You can change it to whatever format that you want. And you are completely done with bringing all of your contacts in from GroupWise to Outlook. Congratulations. I hope this has helped you move your contacts from GroupWise to Outlook. If you have further questions, you may also want to check the video at the address shown in the YouTube description below or the how to use Outlook instructions provided by